Hi everybody and welcome back to Cozy Corner Crafts. So today's craft will be ready for you on May 29th and it's going to be a woolly sheep. So in your craft kits you are going to get a lovely green sheet of paper for your sheep to roam on and you are going to get a doily which is going to be the body of the sheep and get a cotton ball and it's up to you what you would like to do with it. I'm going to use it as a tail but if you got a nice size cotton ball you could actually use it for uh, the fluffy part of your sheep. Then you're going to get two strips of black paper. So it's up to you what you want to do with these. So these could be um, two legs for your sheep or if you want to cut it in half and you can make it four legs for your sheep. Then you're going to get a square about this big, which is going to be what you're going to use to cut out your sheep's face. And then whatever's left, you can use it to make ears for your sheep. And then the last thing that you're going to get is our favorite, googly eyes. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, if you want to, draw a circle and to make your sheep's face. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, uh, let's see here, I'm going to make it not quite a circle, but it's kind of going to be circled at the top. So if you need some help from somebody, so there's kind of my funny sheep's face. Maybe I'll cut a little bit off of here. Just make it a little bit more roundish. Well, it's okay. You know what we say? It doesn't have to be perfect. You have to just enjoy it. So here's kind of my circle for his face. And now I've got these extra pieces. So I am going to cut this one in half and then cut the bottom off here. That kind of looks like an ear for my sheep, right? And how many ears do sheep have? Two. So we need another one. So there is my other ear. They're not going to match, but that's okay. Not everybody, everything, not everybody's ears are the same either. So I'm going to move this to the side and I'm going to bring you down so you can see what I'm doing. So here is my supplies. So here's my googly eyes. Here's my ears. Here's my face. And actually it doesn't look too bad, does it? And then... Here are my sheep legs. So what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to put, I'm going to put the legs on. And I'm just going to rip them in half. And here is my sheep's legs. And I'm going to put the other one right here. Oh, you know what? We could even make it go up like this, so he's a sheep body. That's <laughs> kind of cute, hey? And then we can put this up at the top. But we could do also do it like this, and we could bring it down like this. And there's his sheep, and there's his four legs, and then his puffy tail. Or like I said, you could spread it out. And then here is the ears. Oops, I almost lost it. So there's his money ear. And here's the other ear. It looks pretty cool, hey? So let's glue it all down. Here's my other one, and 
Here is the fourth one. So now what I could do is, um, because this is really, um, the glue could come really out very fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the glue right on the piece of paper because I have found out in the past that doilies leak glue all over the place. So there's two sides for your doily. The side is the nice one. And this is kind of not the nice one. But, of course, you put it whatever side down that you like because you know it's your craft right so now i'm going to put the glue for the face it is a funny face isn't it and i'm going to put his ears and i'm just going to tuck it under his head and there's the next ear I'm going to stick it like this this time. Oops. There's his ears. I might put a little glue down here too. And then we're going to put some eyes on him. And you might have two different size eyes on your sheet. So maybe one eye is wide open and the other one is kind of closed. The last thing I'm going to put on is, how about that for a tail? So now your page is pretty big. So what you can do with your sheep is, you could actually make some hills or some trees or some grass, or even if you wanted to, you could put some flowers so he's out in the meadow or out in the field. Sometimes there's trees in the fields and sometimes there's flowers and sometimes there's hills. And if you really get creative, what you can do is you can make a barn for your sheep. Sounds good? So I hope you guys will come and see me on Thursday, 10.30 to 11 for Cozy Corner Stories. And if not, I would love to see your craft pictures after you're done. See if you put other sheep on there, or if you put it that's driving a tractor, or is he standing like mine? Or is he going to be like the, the sheep man I made? Okay, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.